Welcome to another video from the Ultimate GED Math course. In this video, we will be looking at integers and absolute values. Please watch the entire video and watch it again and again if you have to. Ask questions and check out ultimateged.com for more help. This topic is where most people's math problems start. It's important you understand everything here. It will definitely come back and hunt you in the future lessons if you don't understand. Now that I've scared you enough, let's look at our first question. Question 9. The absolute value of negative 8 is less than, greater than, or equal to the absolute value of 8. Compare the two values. When you see these lines with a number, we are dealing with the absolute value. Let's bring our number line to explain absolute values. This is a number line with integers, starting from zero. When we move two to the right, we say we've moved positive two. When we move two to the left, we say we've moved negative two. Absolute value doesn't care about whether the movement was to the right or to the left. It just cares about the fact that you moved two. Whether you move to the right, which is positive 2, the absolute value is 2. Or you move to the left, which is negative 2, the absolute value is 2. So for our question, we can say that the absolute value of negative 8 is 8, and the absolute value of positive 8 is also 8. So these values are equal. Question 10. Arrange negative 2 the absolute value of negative 5, the absolute value of 7, negative 4, negative the absolute value of 9 in ascending order. Here, we are supposed to arrange the value from smallest to biggest. Let's start by simplifying all the absolute values. We know that the absolute value of negative 5 is simply 5. We also know that the absolute value of 7 is simply 7. For the negative absolute value of 9, it's a trick. You'll notice that so far the negatives have been within the absolute value marks, but this has the negative outside the absolute value marks. So we are not finding the absolute value of negative 9 like we did for negative 5. We find the absolute value of 9, which is 9, and then bring the negative. So we have negative 9. Now let's arrange them. Negative 9 is the smallest. So we have negative the absolute value of 9, then negative 4, then negative 2, then 5, which is the absolute value of negative 5, then the absolute value of 7. Let's move on. The next questions are going to be questions on operations on integers. Working with positive integers is like working with whole numbers, so most of you are familiar with it. You can easily add 3 plus 5 or multiply 2 times 6. Question 11. Negative 5 minus 4 equals... To solve questions like this, all you need to remember is that if two numbers have the same sign, you'll add and keep the signs. And if two numbers have different signs, you'll subtract and keep the sign of the larger number. So for this question, the 5 is negative. Please note that the middle sign is considered the sign of the number after it. So the sign of this is also negative. So they have the same signs. We said that if they have the same signs, you'll add them and keep the sign. So we have 5 plus 4, which is 9, and we bring the sign negative to get negative 9 as our answer. So if we have negative 5 plus 4, we will have one of the numbers to be negative and the other to be positive. If the signs are different, we will subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So we have 5 minus 4 to get 1. Since the 5 is the bigger number with a negative, we will keep the negative. So we have negative 1 as the answer. 
Question 12. Negative 3 minus negative 5 equals. How to solve this is just like what we did in the previous question. The only thing different is that there are two signs in the middle. When you have minus negative, it is the same as plus. So this is the same as negative 3 plus 5. We have one of the values as negative and the other is positive. We said if they have different signs, you will subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number. So we subtract 5 minus 3 to get 2. Since the positive 5 is the bigger number, our answer will be positive 2, which is simply 2. Note that if you had plus negative, you can simply change it to minus, so that 3 plus negative 5 is simply 3 minus 5. Changing two signs in the middle to a single sign is not a necessary step if you know what you are doing. I personally don't use it but I've seen that it's very useful to students who are new to this. Please take note of this because some students were confused when we used this ideal in our video on simultaneous equations. Question 13, negative four times negative three equals. The multiplication of negative integers is the same as the multiplication of whole numbers. The only thing you have to remember is that when two numbers multiply and they have the same sign, the final answer is positive. If they have different signs, then the final answer is negative. Please don't confuse this with the rules of addition and subtraction. So negative two times negative nine will be positive 18 because they are both negative. Negative two times nine will be negative 18 because one is positive and the other is negative. Let's look at our question. So this will be positive 12 as our answer because both values are negative. This ideal is the same for division. So 27 divided by negative three will be negative nine because one of the values is negative and the other is positive. Question 14, negative two exponent two equals. We were actually surprised at the number of students that were confused about our statement in our GED math 2021 video that negative 2 exponent 2 is not the same as negative 2 exponent 2. We said in our previous video that exponents represent the number of times a number multiplies itself. In this question, the exponent is affecting only the 2. So we will have two times two, and we have the negative in front. Two times two is four. So we will have negative four as our final answer. If we are given negative two exponent two with the negative two in parentheses, this means that the exponent is affecting the negative and the two. So we will have negative two times negative two. We learned earlier that when you multiply two numbers that are negative, you'll get a positive. So this is positive four. We will end this video here. In the next video, we will be looking at the order of operations. Please like and share, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications because you don't wanna miss any future videos.